Hey everybody, this is Mr. Bells. Uh, I happen to have, hopefully if you're seeing this video, you're either in my class or you're a parent of one of the students in my class. I just want to give you a little shout out at the beginning of the year. Uh, again, Mr. Bells, this is about pre-calc A. Our first test uh, slash test that we're going to have, uh, they're going to be the Thursday and Friday right before break. That's December 19th and December 20th, if I got my calendar right. Um, it's not uh, about quadratics. They're, uh, their material that they have is it's called Chapter P, and Chapter P uh, stands for prerequisites. So everything that we have in this is either something that they've seen before, or it's us taking stuff that they've seen before and maybe ramping it up quite a bit. Uh, I will tell you that the class in general is pretty difficult. I have pretty high expectations for the kids. These are the best of the best that we have. Uh, coming in the, in the mathematics department in Gull Lake High School um, and I want to make sure that I'm preparing them and I don't want them prepared just to be procedural followers. It's not just about hey I'm going to show them this problem and they repeat that process and uh, then everything's good and, and they've gotten their A. There will be a lot of procedural knowledge in this class which means they have to be able to follow steps and sometimes multi-steps. We did a problem the other day uh, that required about 70 to 100 different computations in order for them to get it right. But it's also going to be about problem solving, and therein lies what sometimes is a challenge for some of the kids. And that's the ability to be able to take a little bit of this knowledge, a little bit of this knowledge, a little bit of this, a little bit of this, and go, hey, I can put all that stuff together. And that, honestly, for a lot of things in life is what we want to do. We want to be able to take all of our knowledge that we have and, and put it together to come up with some meaningful results. Um, also what I do in this class is, is I test both non-calculator days and calculator days. I try not to do them on the same day because it's a lot of information. But every kid needs to be adept at being able to do basic computations and functions and all the thought processes without the technology. And then they also need to be able to do it with the technology. It's not the same problems, it's different types of steps. But if I give them the calculator on some of the other things I want to test, it, it makes some of, the, some of the things that I'm trying to get out of them uh, pretty, pretty meaningless because this is a very valuable uh, piece of technology. Know that our SATs right now, I know that uh, a lot of the kids are concerned about that. SAT uh, basically tests non-calc and calc in the mathematics area, and I believe that this class is a great thing for it. Um, don't have the exact statistics on it, but I did do some initial research on it. Uh, every kid that takes this class passes this class compared to the other kids that are out there and uh, and go like average SAT score in the math area is probably about 150 points higher than if they don't take this class. So again, I encourage them, but I want you to know, I want them to know it is going to be worth it. We have uh, online textbooks that they can get. Uh, we'll get them hard copies within the next couple days, but a lot of the material that we've been doing right now has been pretty basic. We also have all online homework. And the online homework's pretty nice in the fact that if I assign it, it's not the same question uh, with the same numbers for every single one of the 70 students or so that I have. Uh, it's the same problem with different numbers in it. We have a great algorithm in the program that we create, which means I don't necessarily just get, hey, one person post some answers and the kids share it and do it. But they're all the same types of questions. If the kids miss the questions, that's okay. I give them three attempts per question. There's things in the homework that allows them to see a video or see some other material online about it that will help them understand that. And then of course, I go over anything that they still have questions for. Okay, hope this was a great thing to, to start off with. Very excited that your kids are in here. Love working with them but do know that I do have high expectations. I'm looking for the best out of your kids and I'm hoping I'm gonna get it for them. Have a great day.